Retaliation, petty, poking the bear. Those are the words today from the family of a murdered Wade County deputy, Ned Bird, who raised serious questions about the leadership of the sheriff's office, including the sheriff himself. WRAL's Leslie Moreno joins us live outside the Wake County Sheriff's Department with what the family had to say. Leslie. Julie and the family was very emotional. They came here today demanding answers from the handling of the funeral to the treatment of Deputy Bird's fellow K-9 officers after his death. Deputy Ned Bird was shot and killed while in the line of duty last month. His family stood outside the Wake County Sheriff's Office claiming Sheriff Gerald Baker handled the funeral and investigation poorly. I'm still grieving, but it's getting harder for me to do it. Deputy Bird's family wants to know why the sheriff denied outside agency assistance to allow more members of the Wake County Sheriff's Office to attend the funeral. WRL investigates spoke to three different agencies in Wake County who offered call assistance during the funeral, but the sheriff did not accept. Why did you deny outside agency assistance that was offered to allow any members of the Wake County Sheriff's Office, Ned's brothers and sisters in the blue, to attend the funeral and say goodbye? Why did the men and women who were on the scene that horrible night not have one work day off to grieve. WRL investigates also obtained a document that appears to show the Wake County Sheriff's Office asking a funeral home to return several of Bird's items, including his uniform, nameplate, and other property that technically belongs to the Sheriff's Office. This office shows requested to have all his uniform back requested that we cut it off of him before he goes to be cremated, including all his brass, everything. Ultimately, Bird was cremated in his uniform and other items were given to his family. Earlier this week, WRAL reported on the transfer and demotions of several of Bird's fellow canine officers. One of those deputies presented Bird's sister with a flag from his casket at the request of Bird's family. That duty is usually handled by the sheriff. The family believes it's retaliation. I chose for it not to be him because he wasn't up front and center with me. When I got here, it was the K-9 unit that has been by my side and that's who I seen physically every day. So I chose one of them. That I think that in a, a better way of, to say it, he feels disrespected, but I don't care. We did reach out to the Wake County Sheriff's Office shortly after that press conference with specific questions about the family's concerns. We have not heard back, but Sheriff Gerald Baker did release a statement just yesterday saying Ned's memory and the family had been treated with the utmost respect from the tone of today's press conference. It's clear that the family does not agree. Julian. Lots of emotions there. Leslie Moreno reporting live in Raleigh tonight. Thank you.